<laughs> if you can walk three steps, I'll give you a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> the worst stilts ever. <laughs> Once a kid, always a kid, eh? Treacherous quicksand. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't lose your boots. I wanna go. Zoom in to Sammy the Seagull. You're leaving that in there. Yeah, bruh. Hey guys, right, we're down at Reculver now. Um, just getting ready. Well, we are fishing at the minute. We've got the rods out there. I have already had a bite. Um, wasn't much of one. I don't think it stayed on whatever it was. But, uh, yeah, I've got a good feeling about tonight, it should be alright. Michael's hurt himself. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll show you the uh, back. There's Reculver Towers. Distance there. It's a lovely place to fish. Got this thing up there. You've got beaches behind uh, Reculver as well that uh, can be quite productive. They used to be really good a long time ago. And also, there's, you get, not so much tonight, but you do get a lot of boats fishing out on there but yeah i'm hoping for some i don't know dabs or something probably white in like last time but i know the odd uh codlin's been caught down here that would be lovely never gonna happen not to me anyway well never say never yeah it should be interesting but i'll uh, keep you updated michael's bought his um camping stove today so we're gonna have cups of tea later should be nice it's a nice shot of some birds up there I think they're starlings but yes yeah, really 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 beautiful evening the winds not bad it is chilly but it's uh yeah it's nice but on that over the other side of that cliff there about I don't know, half a mile is where we usually fish that's where we we're fishing in the last video but yeah um, been up here before and a friend of mine just down there if you can see that little concrete structure there we fished off that a bit dicey but it was fine got a nice thorn back off there um, I'm not going for them today I'm just uh, just still taking it easy just picking up what I can getting back into the swing of things again after a long time off right, so guys look We've got the water on the go for a cup of tea. Lovely stuff, but this is what we've got for bait today. See in there some worms. Didn't get very many. Got some Maddies in there as well. Yeah, all right there, Maddie. We've both uh, pulled in once. Both the worms on the uh, hooks have gone on both our rods, so. And we've had some bites, so I think something's stripping. I look like I've got a bite. 
That looked like a bite then. Maybe not. Just my imagination. Yeah, there's the moon. Yeah, but like I was saying, yeah. So we've got the squid in that blue bag that we're going to be cutting up in a minute once it's finished the frosting. Yeah, and just some worms we've got. It's weird, we didn't get that many, but there's some absolutely monstrous ones in there. But yeah, Michael's, this is base camp. Oh, that's a good bite there. That was a bite. Get it on camera. Come on, bite, bite, bite. There we go, right. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Hi, guys. Watch mine will go off now. I've probably snagged on your line. Nah, I'm quite far off into the right. Bit of resistance. What do you think, hammerhead? <laughs> oh, I can see colour. Oh, there might be two actually. Yeah, I've just got it in the water at the moment. There we are. Second chuck. At least we know they're out there. None big enough to eat though. That's the aim of my video, don't know about Martin's. Martin doing a white in thumbnail? Like your last Rakova episode? I'll repeat it. Even though. <laughs> Hold on. Right, let's get these unhooked. <laughs> this is a right little tiddly one. Right in there. I don't really like chucking them from up here, but there's nowhere to get down, so. Yeah. Right, this one well guys back again so had those two fish from last time nothing sizable just white in but like I said I enjoy catching anything just keeping an eye on the rod tops see the moon above me there not quite a full moon looks like it in this camera but it's not just finished a nice cup of tea freshly prepared on the uh, camping stove Michael's shout one now <laughs> nice little setup. But yeah, lovely evening. Went really well. Yeah, really nice. It's absolutely packed up here when we first got here with dog walkers and hikers and you know just people having a nice jaunt across uh, Rakova. But they've all uh, buggered off now, which uh, I quite like. Good thing is, just over there. That place there you can get tea and coffees there's also public toilets there as well i don't know what the time they shut about eight o'clock or something maybe six but uh not that we need that we've got the uh camping stove plenty of water anything we haven't got is milk but black tea's fine with me <coughs> but yeah no, this is actually uh working quite good in the low light in my eyes it's a lot darker than this but yeah, as you saw with that last thing, I'm using the two hook flapper again because I did so well with it last time. Um, yeah, didn't need the tripods either today. So we're just resting it up against there. Michael's got one of these barrier tie things. This nice shiny new rod. What is it? It's a Sonic Vader XS. Lovely to cast as well. It's got a really nice action. <clears throat> and for the price that was uh, pretty good I'm still using this piece of junk Rovex something tide line I was given it by my brother-in-law but yes right hopefully those fish will uh, start biting again soon still waiting for oh yeah you should see what we've done with the squid so it's still frozen way more than I thought 
So we used the rest of the water, filled up the bag. It's in there, still quite warm. I have to frost that. I've got more water boiling. More water boiling, man. Yeah, but no, the good thing about that is that um, we can use, one, it's a fairly good bait for what we're catching anyway. But two, because it's tougher than the worms, because the worms are just being ripped off really after a little while, after like 10 minutes or whatever. But if we put a bit of uh, squid on there, a little tip, I suppose. Uh, yeah, tip the end of the, the hook. So you've got the worm on first, then you put a bit of the uh, squid on. It keeps it on longer. And you know, if the worm does get nibbled off or comes off whatever breaks apart, you've still got a little bit of a uh, squid on there to catch. But yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. But yeah, so far, so good. Guys, visibility is really bad at the minute and I haven't set up a light or anything. So I'm gonna have to face the camera forward, point at the rods. It's uh, slowed down quite a bit at the minute. Um, it's not quite high tide yet. It's come up there. Still only those two white in from earlier. Uh, but I think we will be onto some fish soon. Well, I've got a feeling we will anyway. But we'll just have to wait and see. Still got loads of bait left. So, uh, yeah, it's going all right. But yeah, getting really dark now. I really need to invest in a better camera eventually. Home bait in the distance. Yeah, no, it's still a nice night. It's quiet and right down. Um, the tide's really low. You know, even at high tide, it's only like 4.7, 4.8, something like that. But, uh, you know, bound to be, there's got to be some more whiting out there. Once you start catching whiting, you never usually stop. But, uh, we'll soon see. I know if it's bad, if the rocklings start showing up again. But yeah, you won't be able to make out Rokalva Towers now. Maybe just the slightest silhouette in the background. There's a pub over there, so if we get really bored, we can always go to the pub. <coughs> but yeah, not that much to report at the minute. You can see that flashing light over there, it's dog collar. I'll uh, be posting some. I'm gonna go for a little uh, recce down the beach in the next couple of days or something, maybe tomorrow or something. I'm gonna take the dog down there because he hasn't been like right on the beach and the tide's out, he'd love that. So I will do that. Yeah, but I will get back to you as soon as it starts livening up a bit. Just uh, going back to the car quickly because my feet are getting really, really cold. I've just got my trainers on. But uh, yeah, this is the, the joy of it because we're right next to the car park. Ooh, ooh. Evening. Right. <clears throat> yeah, this is the uh, car park. It's quite expensive actually, car parking. It cost me, I booked six hours. It's like after eight, you don't have to pay nothing. But uh, good size, it cost me six quid. It's quite expensive. But it gets used a lot. Here's the beast. Oh. All this rubbish in the back here. That's what I want, my big socks. But yeah, no, this is good. Even if you're not coming down fishing, then you've got the pub there. You can't really see it, but there's a nice kids' play park just in front of me. And you've got this car park, and then you've got another car park right, on the other side. But yeah, it's nice. And from here, if you go past the uh, <coughs> the towers and just keep walking that way, you get up to like Minis Bay, which is another nice little beach, sandy one as well, which is also a really good bass spot and hound spot actually at low tide. Nice low watermark. But yeah, oh, I've left Michael alone, so I'll 
get this sorted and I'll get back to him. Look at the colours on that. Guys, finally we've got another fish. Beautiful. Bit of a bigger white in this time. It stops flapping about. Lovely big eyes. Predatory fish. But yeah, no, it's not a bad size. I don't think it's quite big enough to eat, but uh, plus it's all head white, well, whitens are, but just lip hooked, so that's going to be easy to get out. But we uh, won't keep it there any longer, we'll get it unhooked and chuck it back in. The easy one. Yeah, that was on the, uh, that was just lugworm on that one. Was that on the bottom hook as well? Yeah. Yeah, not a bad size. Well, he wants to go in by himself. He'll be thrown in, and if he does that again. Sweet, yep. Yeah. We'll chuck him back in. And he swam away. <sighs> Looks like the uh, the fish are actually biting quite well now. Like I had a nice bite again on his uh, Sonic Vader. I do like this one. Yeah, there's something there. Another little white in. Only a little one, but this one makes it feel like they're massive. <laughs> It's got a really nice bite detection on it. Not bad. It's not too, not that bad. No, it's not. It's quite nice. It's got really nice fins, that one. Not like the one I had. <laughs> I quite like the colours on this one. Yeah, they can come up really nice colours. Beautiful. Wee. Another one of that do that. I'm actually, uh, might consider using them as bait. Nice. Here's a nice little fish. Big eyes. Nice big eyes. <coughs> Say bye bye. And away. He's gone.